Hello, Salt Strong community. Waiter Dave here. Actually spending uh, three or four days here in uh, in Texas with Wyatt fishing. And uh, we've been doing a lot of a lot of fishing, a lot of experimenting with different baits. But uh, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about my favorite uh, jerk bait. And this is actually a, a lure, a mirror lure, and it's called a Little John. And in this case, uh, this is a watermelon red glitter. And uh, I typically will either use this color, a glow, or another color they call golden brim. Uh, but it looks like nothing. It's extremely simple. It's a, uh, it's, it's really a fairly dense piece of plastic. I, I always hook it on a just a, a, a bare jig head. In this case, I've got a quarter ounce jig head. Uh, and that's because in this case, I'm fishing in some a little bit deeper water. But uh, probably most often I'm using an eighth ounce jig head. But I, I will also go as light as a sixteenth ounce jig head if, uh, if I'm fishing a shallow flat uh, and I need to keep it above the grass. But, uh, you know, the one thing I will mention in this case is you don't want to rig this with a uh, with a twist lock hook or try to rig it weedless with a weighted, weighted uh, you know, uh, Chin, chin lock hook, something like that, because the, the plastic is really pretty dense and it's hard to set the hook through that. So I don't recommend it. You'll end up missing some fish and getting frustrated, but it won't be the bait's fault. Um, but then again, the, the, the fact that it's so dense is also one of the reasons why it's a great bait to, to cast. It, it casts a mile and it casts, and you can punch it right through the wind. Uh, but but the, all, the reality is, as you can see, it's very simple. So all the action is gonna come from you, the fisherman. And the only mistake that I tell people that they can make on this thing, there's really two mistakes. One is a straight retrieve isn't gonna work with this thing. You've gotta create the action. You've gotta create a darting back and forth, up and down action to it. Um, and then you also have to work it quickly. That seems to be the key. In fact, uh, a quick jerky response or uh, retrieve is really, is really the answer to this thing. And that's really the only reason that I see people not catching fish with it. Once they get that, they start catching a ton of fish. If I catch snook, I catch trout, I catch redfish at home with this, catch flounder. In fact, over the last uh, couple of days here, we've caught uh, flounder. We've caught, uh, uh, in fact, the biggest trout we got yesterday was a 24 inch uh, gator trout. And we got a bunch of uh, nice redfish up to 30 inches on this same bait. Um, but again, in this case, I'm fishing with just the, the, the quarter ounce jig. And it, so what you're gonna wanna watch is the, the, the action on this thing again, it's all about creating a, an erratic darting action and letting it fall occasionally. And, and I think what this does is it elicits a, uh, uh, a reaction strike or bite from these fish. It just it gets their attention. And I think even when they're not hungry, I also notice that I catch a lot, a lot bigger fish with this than I do with my swim tails or my paddle tails. Uh, and I think, again, it may be that reaction strike. It's either too quick or, or it may scare some of the smaller fish. I think it just irritates the bigger fish enough that they want to go in and they, and they hit it. But, uh, but again, I think it's primarily a reaction strike. So you've got to create the action that's going to get that reaction strike. So give you an example here. So in this case, again, I'm casting out into some deeper water here. So in this case, I'm throwing it out. I'm going to let it sink. Make sure you get all the slack out of your line while that's sinking because a lot of times that hit will come on the initial drop. And then... Kind of the key to this thing is you'll notice I'm keeping my rod tip pretty low to the water, and it's really more of a horizontal retrieve than it is a vertical retrieve. So I'm twitch, twitch, I'm letting it drop. Twitch, drop, twitch, 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 drop. Mix, just mix it up. It doesn't have, there's not really a specific rhythm to it, and you'll kind of get your own rhythm, but the key is just keep it quick. And the other thing is you'll notice I'm I'm reeling line in whenever I'm doing these twitches, so I don't get a lot of slack because if you if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get slack. You might get that hit and you're not gonna feel it. The other thing that'll happen too is if you're not reeling in, you might get some loops in your in your, uh, in your your line. So make sure you're reeling in that slack as you do. So again, we're casting, flipping that bail just before it hits the water to make sure we get all that extra line out of there. I'm letting it sink, I'm feeling for that hit. And now it's just twitch, 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 sink. Twitch, sink, twitch, 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 drop. Twitch. And so it's, what's also interesting, and the reason why I'm using this bait right here, and it shows the versatility of the bait, is again, I've got probably eight to 10 feet of water off to my right here, um, and working up to a, a really a shallow flat that's about a foot to two feet deep. In the zone where we've been getting the fish today, which, which isn't unusual and shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, is right on the edge in the drop from that shallow flat into the deeper water. There's kind of a sandy uh, line, maybe it's about eight to 10 feet of, of a sandy, uh, edge that goes all along this flat and we've already caught I think four redfish here today a really nice flounder and a small trout in about a half hour all of those are right on that edge and all with the little John and again just working that thing along that edge and so in that case 
when I'm getting a little bit closer and shallower, I'll speed up the retrieve because I've got the quarter ounce on here and it keep it from getting caught in, in the grass. But if I'm fishing a shallow flat that's like, you know, two to three feet and, and it goes on and on, I'm probably gonna use a lighter jig head. It might be, it might be the eighth, it might even be the 16th. Again, the key being just to keep it just uh, uh, above the grass and close to that strike zone. But again, same retrieve though. It's a couple of twitches, let it drop. A twitch, let it drop. Three twitches, let it drop. But just mix it all up. But the key is to keep it fat. The only mistake you can typically make is not working it quickly enough or erratically enough. And then making sure you don't have too much slack in there after you do your twitch and let it fall. But that's really the key to this thing. And it's uh, once you get the hang of it, you catch a few fish with it, you'll start to get it and you're gonna, it, I, I, can, I promise you it will become one of your favorite baits. It's also a fairly inexpensive bait and it's incredibly durable. I mean, I'll, I'll use, you know, in a day, I might only use two or three baits total and that's probably because I'm switching colors uh, occasionally. But it's very durable, stays hooked on, you know, for, for you know, good, uh, you don't have to keep, you know, pulling it back up. Um, and as I said, if you're working it fast enough, you're not gonna be, get by, get, be getting bit by uh, puffers or pinfish. And in fact, if you are, it just tells me you're not working it quickly enough. So speed up that retrieve. But this is a great bait that everybody should have in their arsenal. Uh, it's versatile, catches all kinds of fish. It's inexpensive. It's great to cast into the wind. And uh, as I said, I guess that's probably why it's my favorite bait. But I uh, want you all to give it a try, and I'd love to hear how you all do with it. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.